Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers 2023 NFL Draft news, analysis, and breakdown. And the pick is in. And with the 14th pick of the 2023 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Georgia offensive tackle Broderick Jones trading up three spots with New England, giving up pick 120, that's in the fourth round, and pick 17 for the Pats, number 14. And... Can't say I'm really surprised by the player or the trade-up. I had said for quite some time uh, during draft season that if Pittsburgh was going to make a move, it would be up, not down. I uh, tweeted out on Thursday that I thought New England at 14 was a, a logical spot to jump the Jets at 15, who reportedly you know were pretty high on Broderick Jones and need left tackle help. And so not really surprised by either of those things. I was a big Christian Gonzalez fan but certainly can see the value in Broderick Jones and thought offensive tackle would be the pick here in the first round because the cornerback class is just so deep and the offensive tackle class is certainly anything but. So Broderick Jones, 21 years old, basically one and a quarter starter, four starts last year, 15 starts this year, began the year kind of rotating at left tackle a little bit with Warren McClendon and then played well, got the full-time job. And so he's a guy with great athleticism, great feet, length, 35 plus inch arms. Pat Meyer, the O-line coach, loves those long offensive linemen. He's a great athlete. He finishes in the run game. He's got to work on, you know, just being able to mirror and redirect and utilizing that athleticism properly. And so there's certainly work to be done there. Um, but this is a guy that was a big five-star recruit. Um, has been loyal to that program, you know, stuck it through, kind of being the backup for a little bit uh, behind some some really talented guys and then got his, you know, shot this year. Uh, interesting guy. Uh, loves motorbikes. Um, rode him for a long time. And then he got hurt, I think, in 2020 when he wrecked it. And then he, you know, gave up on that. So there's no concern there. But I know it's kind of immaterial to the player. But just kind of the backstory on Broderick Jones, some of the interesting things I found about him. I was doing research a couple of days ago, and so he's the guy. And again, they showed interest in the tackle class at that pro day. Checks all those boxes: underclassman, upside, athleticism. Pro day came in for a visit as well. And so then I think he probably got to meet Pat Meyer because Meyer, to our knowledge, was not at that pro day. And so that probably helped really kind of cement the evaluation on him. I can really appreciate and respect Omar Khan's aggressiveness, aggressiveness to go up from 17 to 14 to get your guy. Again, because of Jones, you know, Jones is probably going to go 15 to the Jets, if I had to guess. And so if you don't get Jones, a tackle, there really wasn't much there. Anton Harrison, that was about it in terms of guys Pittsburgh showed interest in. So get your guy, get your cornerback in the second round at, say, pick number, you know, 32. It's probably where that's going to happen at. We'll see who's there. Uh, first round's wrapping up right now. So... Those are my thoughts on Broderick Jones. I like the pick. I like the player. I like the upside. Um, there's things to work on. He's not perfect by any means, but I think this was the guy that, you know, Pittsburgh obviously targeting, and uh, I'm pretty content with the pick overall. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon.